I do want to mention that I I did make other DreamWorks characters from How to Train Your Dragon and another Rise of the Guardian character. If you want to see those, those are in de the description. Hello everyone, so today I have this custom Jack Frost doll that I made from Rise of the Guardians. And he was one of my favorite characters. I mean, they, they were all great, but um, this one I've seen before on like DeviantArt and you know other places that people have made this kind of doll. And so it kind of inspired me to want to make my own. And I kind of tried it their way with different dolls, but I found that I actually liked this one in particular. Uh, for this doll, I used uh, this one, and I forgot his name, but I'll put what um, his name is if you're interested in getting this one. And at first, like um, in the pictures, I noticed that she had a Ken doll that had blonde hair, so and that um, all she had to do was just like paint it white and then styled it. Well, that didn't really work out for me, so I ended up having to buy like a white wig for him and then just glue it on. And I did not make that wig, but um, so yeah, I also repainted his face because it didn't really look like him. And no offense, but I don't really like the way his face looks, so I tried to make it my own. And and honestly, um. This is the very first face paint that I've ever done on, on a doll. So if it doesn't look very accurate, that's why. As you can see for this doll, you really don't need anything from him except for the, the, the body and the pants. And that's it. Because Jack doesn't wear any shoes and he has a blue sweater, which doesn't really look that close to this. I mean, you could probably use this somehow, but I just kind of went with a sweater. Just like with my, uh, and this is actually the doll I used, uh, the boots from, for the Hiccup and Astrid doll custom. I used those boots for Astrid. That way she could kind of stand on her own, and that way you could just, like, put all the fur and stuff over those. And plus they're really tall, so it works out. But... Yeah, like, you really don't need his clothes. So if you probably found, like, a cheap one on eBay with, like, with just the doll, that would be just fine because with this, you know, all you really need is just the pants. But one thing that I really like about the Ever After High Dolls is that their posability and articulation, it's just, it's probably one of the best that I've seen because, you know, they move at the shoulders, the elbows, at the wrist and also at the knees and the ankles but this sweater again i did not make it i just um i bought i found it on etsy just like the wig i also found that on on there as well and all i had to do was just kind of make like little kind of swivel motions with like uh with a brush like a fine tip brush and then just added like little frost marks all over the sweater I mean, you don't have to go this crazy, but I just, you know, I kind of wanted to. Especially, like, on the hood, you don't have to. For his pants, the only thing I really changed was, like, the, kind of, like, the bottoms of them. I just added, like, some light blue, some white to give it, like, that frost kind of color. And I know, like, in the movie, his pants, all of it looks a little kind of frozen, kind of, you know, frosty, but I, I didn't really go into that much detail. And this brown kind of pleather material is, like, the same that I used with other dolls. So I tried to use as much of the material as I could. That way I didn't waste any. Yeah, I just kind of glued that onto the, onto the pants. And, well, obviously it doesn't wear any shoes, so that part was really easy. So technically this doll was probably, like, the easiest one to make out of all of them. From, like, you know, the DreamWorks dolls that I made. Because, you know, most of it I just had to buy and glue and that was it but the staff was probably the most time consuming thing besides uh, trying to draw his face all I used was like these wooden dowels and I just used one straight one I cut I cut a piece about an inch long and then I kind of taped it with some duct tape like kind of like at an angle because if you look if you use uh, like pictures from the movies like as reference pictures then you'll be able to make that shape and then just use tape to hold it together because that's all I did. I just like looked at reference pictures 
And then same thing with this, kind of like an inch long going like that, and then I kind of put it at an angle. And then like with this part, the last part, I also had to cut another part, so technically there's four separate pieces, and then you just kind of tape them to make that shape. And then when you're done with that, you just put a uh, paper or tape or whatever you want, like wrapping all the way around it and then you paint it all brown to cover it up because when you put like paper or tape around it it gives it kind of like a texture like oh it's like a real branch and hey you know maybe you could find a, a tree branch outside that actually looks like that I just I didn't go outside and look but yeah and then I just like painted dark brown in like the little crevices to kind of give it more detail and then right here on his hand because you know Anytime Jack touches something, it's, it freezes or it gets cold, so I just put like little like, light blue and some white kind of spots to make it look like it's frosting over or freezing, I guess. And then for like to have him holding it, if you can see, I don't know if you can, it's like a rubber, one of those white plastic bands that they have like in the, in the packaging or you can find them like in that hair aisle but I just kept one from its packaging and I wrapped it around his wrist and then put it around the staff so he could hold it yeah and then for the wig it was actually really a lot longer than this so then I had to stylize it and cut it as much as I could but I was kind of afraid of ruining the, the wig so I try not to cut off too much and I know it looks kind of silver so I can't I, I didn't want to mess up the wig so I just kind of kept it white. Like I said, for his face, I tried my best to make it look, you know, decent. Just because I didn't like the other face. And I know he's really actually kind of dark. I mean, you may not see it through the camera, but he's actually kind of dark compared to what Jack Frost really looks like. Because he really does look like he's, like, cold. And it's really difficult to find, like, a Ken doll or something like that that has that light of skin. And I didn't want to... I didn't feel like repainting his body, so I just kept it like that. Yeah, I still think he came out pretty good, though. Maybe not the best, but he came out pretty decent. I mean, not as good as um, the one that I saw in DeviantArt, but he still looks pretty good, I guess. So, um, yeah, I'll put in the description, like, the wig and the sweater and the other DreamWorks dolls that I made. Just let me know what you think, and if you want to try and make them, I'd like to see uh, pictures or videos, you know, if you have any questions. So, thanks for watching. Bye!